Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comments section below. Alison Hayes was an American actress and model who made her film debut in 1954 with Frances Joins the WACS. Her health declined steadily throughout the 1960s, and she died from either leukemia or lead poisoning on February 27, 1977. Known for his television roles, Dale Limoyne Robertson played Jim Hardy, a roving investigator in Tales of Wells Fargo, and railroad owner Ben Calhoun in Iron Horse. He was often portrayed as deceptively thoughtful yet modest Western heroes. On February 27, 2013, he died from lung cancer and pneumonia at Scripps Memorial Hospital in La Jolla, California. James Thomas Walsh, commonly known as J.T. Walsh, was an American character actor known for his portrayals of gruff and sinister characters. He was born on September 28, 1943, in San Francisco, California, and began his acting career in regional theater before transitioning to film and television. J.T. Walsh died on February 27, 1998, at the age of 54, from a heart attack in La Mesa, California. Known as Spock in the Star Trek franchise for almost 50 years, Leonard Simon Nimoy was an American actor. Nimoy began his acting career in his early 20s, teaching acting classes in Hollywood and making occasional film and television appearances throughout the 1950s. Nimoy was 83 when he died from COPD complications on February 27, 2015, after falling into a coma on February 25, 2015. During her 75-year film acting career, from 1912, in silent film shorts to 1987, Lillian Diana Gish was credited with pioneering fundamental film performance techniques. Gish was known as the first lady of American cinema and credited with pioneering film performance techniques. In 1993, at the age of 99, Gish died of heart failure. Nathaniel Taylor was an American actor. He was best known for his role as Rollo Lawson, the neighborhood friend of the main character on the popular 1970s sitcom Sanford and Son. He also appeared in other television shows and films, including Trouble Man, The Red Fox Show, and The Hunter. Taylor passed away on February 27, 2019 at the age of 80. The American actor Ned Eisenberg played Roger Kressler on Law & Order, Special Victims Unit on a recurring basis. Eisenberg maintained his employment during the last two years of his life while battling cancer in private, thus ensuring that his family and he had financial stability and medical coverage. On February 27, 2022, at the age of 65, Eisenberg died of cholangiocarcinoma complications at his New York home. The late Roy Dana Call was an American film and television actor. Born into a Mormon family, he left the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in his early teens. He died at the age of 70 from complications resulting from back surgery. In his first several films, Richard Bacallion portrayed juvenile delinquents. On location in Kansas City, he and fellow actor Dick Jones were arrested for vagrancy during the filming of 1958's juvenile gang drama The Cool and the Crazy. Bacallion died of a stroke on February 27, 2015, at the Arnett Obden Medical Center in Elmira, New York. Spike Milligan was an Irish-born comedian, writer, and actor. 
Milligan was a prominent figure in British comedy during the 1950s and 1960s, and his surreal humor and absurdist style influenced many other comedians. He was awarded an honorary knighthood in 2001 for his contributions to comedy and entertainment.